Hi everybody, welcome to Training Tip Tuesday. We have another tip today for you guys for training your puppies or your older dogs from the Michigan Pet Alliance. So today's topic is calmness in the crate. How do we get some calmness with our dog being able to just chill out in their crate? I'm Kelly Kendall. I am a certified pro dog trainer through Absolute Dogs. I'm the owner and head trainer at Happy Dog Acres in Ross Common, Michigan, and I'm going to be presenting for you today. So it's really wonderful to know that your dog can be securely, safely, and comfortably contained when the need arises. You might use a crate for dogs or puppies that are not ready to be left unattended um, as a place for them or you too to have a break somewhere to park them when company's coming over and your puppy is potty training and you just want to make sure that you have a way to prevent accidents. You need a way to have them safely ride in the vehicle so that they're not all over the place in there. Um, or maybe they just need a place to call their own in the house when they're left alone. And even sometimes if you live in a place where there may be evacuations and emergency arises, sometimes that's the safest place for your dog in those situations is in a crate. So there's lots of reasons that you may want to use a crate. Oh my goodness, but it is tough to use your crate for any of those things we talked about if your pup can't settle down in there. Calmness in the crate is a skill that can be trained just like any other skill you teach your dog. So if you take the time to teach them that chilling out in the crate is a good deal, you're both going to be really happy with the outcome. One of the challenges with the crate is that dogs often perceive going in there as a punishment. They're missing out on all the cool stuff that's happening or just missing out on being with you. If all of their value is outside the crate, why the heck would they want to be in there? So the very first step, let's start at the beginning. The first step to teaching calmness in the crate is to create some value for it. If you have a new puppy, this is a great place to start. And if your dog is already older, start here too. This is the starting point for calmness in the crate. With the door held open so it can't accidentally close on your puppy, encourage them to go into the crate. If they won't even go in there on their own, just start with building some value near the crate. So it's okay to just use sort of the front area around the crate to start. Use a valuable reward. So remember, we're encouraging them to go in there. You're gonna use a valuable reward Toss that reward into the crate when your dog is in there. The door is open. They can come and go as they like, but the treats appear when they are in the crate. Stay with them. Don't try going off or closing the door or anything right now. Remember, we're starting at the beginning. We're just creating value to be in the crate. So stay with them and keep the session really short. If your dog's happily hanging out in the crate in anticipation of their reward, Offer something longer lasting, like a stuffed Kong. So you could leave the door open and just put their Kong in there and they can chew out and chill out and have that. And that's if they're offering staying in there waiting for a treat to come. That's when you would use that. Keep the door open and stay nearby while they work on the Kong. All right, so the door. The next step is working on how do we close the door and they still remain calm. Closing the door may have previously predicted a loss for your pup. Loss of fun, loss of access to you, or maybe it means that you're leaving. So we wanna change that perception. No longer does being in the crate predict a loss of something. So once we've done step one, building some value in the crate with the door open, once your dog is happily going into the open door crate, they're excited to get their reward, we can then we can start to practice with the door closed so don't rush it if they're not happily getting in there excited that they're getting a reward and not worried about it keep working on that and then move on to this this is the next step so when your pup goes into the crate anticipating that reward close the door toss in a couple treats right through the door holes and then open the door as soon as they eat them when the door is open you're going to be really chill you're just sitting by the crate, no treats, no exciting interactions playing with your pup. Um, the good deal is inside the crate, not outside the crate partying with you. So your pup comes out because you've opened the door. They can come out. 
when they go back in again, because that's the game you've been playing in building value, close the door, toss some treats in through the door, and then once they've eaten them, open it up. Repeat, just do a couple of repetitions. There is no pressure at this point to make them stay in the crate. You're not leaving them in there. So we're not trying to close the door, snap it up, walk away, and just hope that it's going to all work out and they'll be calm in there. Right now, we're just practicing that when we're here together and I close the door, good things happen. Here come the treats. And then we open it right away. Okay, so that's our first two steps to build some value with the door open, build some value in having the door closed when your pup's ready for that. And now once you have a dog that's starting to see some value in being in there, you can increase the amount of time that you're asking them to spend in their crate. A good way to encourage this is by using your ditch the bull enrichment time in there. So ditch the bull, if you don't know, just means offering them their daily amount of food through training games, um, enrichment, puzzles, kongs, things like that. So you can ditch the bull and use some of that enrichment time while they're inside their crate. When they are in and the door is closed, offer them a stuffed Kong, a puzzle feeder, one of their long lasting chews. And when your pup is nearing the end of their treat before it's all gone, open the door again. Don't wait till they're done and bored and starting to pipe up. Okay, so my top tips for you guys to develop some calmness in the crate, things to think about when you're training. One, practice when your dog is already in a calm state of mind. Don't wait till they're wildebeest, they're wild, they're running around the house, you've had it and you wanna put them away. Practice when they're in their calm state of mind. Two, move your crate around the house. Um, put it in different places in the house, put it in the car, outside, the garage. This gets them used to using it anywhere you may need it. So don't be stuck with your crate in just one place. Three, you do want to make sure it's comfy. Some dogs, you know, they need a little bit of cush under their elbows or they need their special blankie that smells good in there. So you want to make sure it's a comfy, safe space for them. When your dog is ready, tip number four, advance their skills by starting to move away. Start small. So you're not going to close the door and go to the next room. You're going to close the door take a couple steps backwards, and then open it back up again. So start small, work up to longer duration and further away. Before, this is tip five, before starting crate training or putting your dog in their crate, make sure their needs have been met. Have they had a drink? Have they had a potty break? Have they had a little bit of playtime today so they're kind of ready to move into downtime? And the most important thing of all, tip number six, it's train calmness for your dog in everyday life. So you don't want them running around like crazy beasts all day long. And then we try and create some calmness only when they're in their crate. So that's part of everyday life for your dog. All right. Thank you for joining us today. And remember, calmness is a skill that you're going to train just like stay or loose leash walking or come. You got to be on top of the training to get those skills down. All right, send us some videos here on the Facebook page in this thread. If you want, send us some videos or pictures of your dog chilling in their crate. Happy training, and we'll see you guys next week.